Hi everybody and welcome to my tour of my eBay area. This is not my eBay area, but we, we'll look at that in a minute. This is it. This is all I'm dealing with. This is all I have. I have over 300 items up for bid and they are all right here. Really a small, small space to store everything. I keep everything in totes. I try to do everything by category. So mugs and breakables are pretty much here. I keep media in here. I have, um, I think fabric and needlepoint kits and stuff like that basically in here. Uh, here's some smalls that I have. Uh, what else can I show you? There's some miscellaneous stuff. Here's like some, some clothing and I guess there's just miscellaneous stuff in there. Here's some clothes I need to put up. Those aren't up yet. Um, I put some storage, that's jewelry of course. There's jewelry in that bin too. Everything's a, a mess too, so <laughs> don't mind the mess. And here's some stuff that, uh, some more stuff that's already listed. So this is how small my eBay space is. And this is why I always say, you know, I have a small house. I can't really keep inventory because this is all the space that I have. And uh, here's my desk. Here's where I work. I have an old MacBook that I use. It just sits right there and that's what I use. Here's my label printer right there, my Dymo Label Writer 4XL. I love that thing. I keep some envelopes right here just so they're uh, reachable. And I have my James Brown. Oh, I forgot I put these here. Here's some magnifying uh, necklaces I have. But I love James, he helps me work. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's that. Here's some stuff that I use to sell jewelry, of course. And, oh, I love this. So I was living in New York City and I come down to the, get my mail one day and this was sitting in the lobby. So the doorman said I could take it. He said someone was throwing it out. And that's where I got my giraffe head that I love. Oh, here's where I keep my boxes. These are like a hot mess. I shouldn't even show them to you, but I have some envelopes there. That's basically... <laughs> My, my stuff right there. So yeah, it's it's kind of a hot mess in there, but it works for me actually, believe it or not. Uh, here's an extra light that I like to take photographs with sometimes. Here's my, my photo box. I believe this is a 16 by 16. So let me just turn the light on. So here it is with the light on. And uh, this just takes fantastic photographs. What I really like too is this top right here. And you can zoom in. So a lot of times I find myself using this little top pole right here to put the camera through so you can really take great photographs from above. And that's pretty much it. That's kind of where I do uh, all my work. Don't you love that um, tape dispenser right there? <laughs> that's a margarita thing. Kind of fun, right? So, all right, you wanna take a look at the rest of this area. So this is our den. We used to watch TV down here, only down here, but we decided to put a television set in our living room and make our living room less formal. Let me move this. There, that's better. Um, so we don't actually use this downstairs very much. I mean, I do. Here is my genie bottle. I love this thing. Now, I was standing in a savers and somebody was rolling out the cart from the back, believe it or not, and they were putting this right on the shelf as I was standing there. And I think it was $3.99. So this is a Jim Beam bottle. And this is the one that, um, that I think they used on the set of I Dream a Genie. Of course they painted theirs, but this is the, the same one they used. So I keep my um, gem tester in there. Here are a lot of my crazy DVDs. I love DVDs and I'm actually trying to sell a lot of them. I think all these are up for sale right now, but yeah, I, I have all kinds of crazy stuff. A lot of classics too. This is an old um, radio that I bought that I love. This is something I can't figure out what this is. I want to sell it, but I don't know what it is. I was thinking maybe this was valuable, but I can't read that um, signature. So, and I have this fabulous owl clock. He's missing his, um, tail and I actually I keep trying to find one that'll fit and I can't yet but believe it or not well it needs batteries it, I guess it just ran out um, but it has uh, separate batteries so that his tail will go back and forth 
So here's an awesome jadeite lamp that I got not too long ago. I have a thing for old lamps. I have way more than any person should. I have an attic full of them too. So here are three of my favorite pieces of furniture ever. Um, first up, let's talk a little bit about this couch. So this couch actually underneath that slip cover that I had custom made is this material. So this is obviously a mid-century modern set. This is teak wood. Now, um, I got this at a yard sale. Well, I bought the couch first. It was $75. It does have a cartouche on it, signed by a designer named John Stewart, and it's kind of a valuable piece of furniture, believe it or not. While I was yard sailing, maybe 10 or 15 years after I bought this couch, I pull up to this house. I'm like, oh my God, this is the house where I got this couch. So I say to the guy, you know, I bought this this couch that I love that your wife said came from her, her aunt. And he goes, yeah, we have the matching chair, but his wife had died. I felt terrible. Anyway, he sold me this chair for $4 and that is the matching chair with it. So very, very cool, obviously set. And this is very, very comfortable. The back comes off of this couch, which I really love. So I'm also a sucker for paint by numbers. And these are really, really well done. I love these. I love the frames too. They're so mid-century. So I found these at a thrift store and the ladies really like, I think I, I think they made me pay $20 each for them <laughs> or 25 each. And I was sort of surprised because everything's usually really inexpensive, but yeah, they knew that they were awesome. So I was happy to, to give them the money for those. I would never sell those. Here's an awesome lamp I bought. Look at that thing. Isn't that cool? I think this was two or three dollars at a yard sale. And um, these are wax hands. Those are, that's my hand on top. That's my husband's. We did that at, at a fair. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever done that. Kind of silly, right? So let's see some more silly stuff here. These are all yard sale finds. Just things I like to keep because <laughs> I think they're fun. My friend gave me this. Look at this thing. Isn't that great? 1968, yeah. That's a great thing. And I have my old shrunken head. A couple of old movie things. Super 8s, oops. Crooked glasses. <laughs> it's a hairdressing head. I like to use her actually when I sell um, hats and stuff or sunglasses sometimes or glasses. I use her as my model. There's a pity puppy bank. This is a great 1940s thing. Oh, I love this mug. Look, you're beautiful. And they misspelled your, which just makes me laugh. <laughs> Pink elephants. Tiki. What are you doing, Rosie girl? What are you doing? You're a good girl. What? Hey, who's mommy's good girl? good girl. So I thought this was crazy that somebody made a plush of the creature from the Black Lagoon. I have a little bit of a cold right now, so pardon my voice, by the way. Here's a bank. This is a repro. That's not the real deal. And I have to show you this fantastic radio called the Swinger, which is like the best thing you'll ever see. Else do I have here? I have like a bunch of stuff that's sort of hard to see. I have some Beatles stuff. And I think those heads right there are crazy salt and pepper shakers. And this is an old pipe. This buffalo, I don't even know why I'm not selling that. I need to do that. This is an old radio. I kind of like tiki stuff, you know? And what else can I show you? Oh, I have some cool stuff over here. She's cool. Look at her pants. Those are pleather. Here's a bunch of great stuff I've gotten at yard sales. Look at this awesome radio. So what people do with these often is they trick them out and they like take the guts out and they put like Bose speakers in them and stuff and they make them Bluetooth. So that's what I was thinking about doing. I watched a video on it, but you know, I can't even half understand it because you know, I don't know anything about electronics, of course, but it's a cool thing to think about doing. Maybe I'll get my husband on that. This is fantastic. This is actually um, a nightlight, believe it or not. 
and this is a telephone and this lamp is amazing hold on let me turn it so it's all the lights are on hold on oops I just had it too there's an old 70s telephone right there my shaky poo this is sort of interesting this is like an old TV antenna that I love and here's a hairdressing head oh look at this lamp that's a, a panther lamp, and I paid $1 for that at a yard sale, believe it or not, because a woman told me it didn't work. Like, who cares, right? The, the money is not in the electronics part. That can be switched out, of course. Look at that. <laughs> Here's my plaster Elvis that I love. Now, I bought these speakers. These are called Blue Room speakers, and I found these at a yard sale the woman worked in New York City for a magazine, for a sound, an audiophile magazine, actually. And she said these were really high quality. So I bought these for $30 and they sell for a fortune. It turns out these things will literally melt your face. They are unbelievable. We play ACDC on these and it's like they're completely crazy. Really, really bassy. Just they're super, super loud and very clear. So now I can't sell them. Now I bought this. This is not anything that I want to keep. You know, it doesn't go with my style down here, certainly. It's not kind of kooky enough. But I bought this at a yard sale and I was thinking maybe this was something really valuable. Like maybe this is an antiques roadshow kind of thing. I don't know, but that's why I bought it. So I'm waiting to try to figure out exactly what this is because I have no idea. Hoping though, hoping that it's, <laughs> It's worth a bunch of money. Here's yet another fantastic lamp. This is called a spaghetti lamp. I love this thing. Look at that shade. Fantastic. Now, I, I bought the shade separately, believe it or not. I found this in like a little place. I think the shade, I might have paid 20 for the shade. And then the lamp was, um, I think, $3.00. I went to this guy's yard sale and he had all these cool lamps. Like I got this one, this pole lamp from him too. And I said, how much are you getting for the lamp? So of course he says like $3 or $5 or so. I think he said three. So I went to grab that and he goes, oh no, that one's 60. Cause you know, of course it is. And then I grabbed another one. And he goes, oh, that one's 60. I said, well, why did you say, you know, that they're $3 and then the ones I want are 60. But anyway, I bought them, of course, because that was still a really good deal. And I, I love this. This is like a nightlight of a martini glass. You see the olive lights up. And this is just a telephone right here that looks like a jukebox. So that's pretty cool. And what else? All right, well, I do want to show you, I want to show you two things. I want to show you what's in this box right here, and I want to show you this amazing radio. So let me get those down. Hold on. By the way, please pardon all the dust and all the junk that's everywhere, uh, but I forgot to tell you about this coffee table. So this coffee table, I think it was $2 at a yard sale. My husband was with me, and it was a hot mess. It was like painted, and it had issues. Um, oh no, it's scratched right there. But uh, anyway, I bought it and I refinished it myself. This is teak and um, it came out great. It's so satisfying the way it came out, but I would never, never, never do it again. It was a lot of work. It took days and days and days. It was a mess. Anyway, I hide, um, <laughs> I guess it's not really hidden, but I keep a lot of junk underneath there and I like to just grab out. But this is uh, insane. I love this item so much. So look, baby TV. Oh. Oh, look it lights and she dances baby TV ballerina cigarette a cigarette box what in the nursery look at this it serves as a charming and useful adjunct to baby's room it's soft pleasant melody and graceful actions serve to distract and pacify children and keep them amused for hours on end but it also holds cigarettes so you can smoke when you put your baby to sleep. So there's where you keep your cigarettes, right in there. And let's see if I can get this to go on. It's, some, it's a little bit finicky sometimes. Isn't that beautiful though? How fun is this? 
I really do love it. I just think it's, it's crazy that it, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Any like young mother of today would be horrified. Things are so different now. I think young people don't even give their babies blankets anymore, right? <laughs> wow. How nice is that though? I just think it's interesting. So this was at a yard sale and, um, oops. And the guy uh, wanted, I think $40 for it and he would not budge. And of course I gave it to him cause I just think it's a curiosity and I think it's really beautiful too, actually. I just think it's a little bit crazy with that whole, um, you know, cigarette in the nursery thing. Anyway, this one I got years ago. This is crazy. The Swinger by Nuvox, solid state radio, brake resistant cabinet with shoulder strap and secret compartment for personal belongings. This is so great. Can you imagine? I found this in the original box. I didn't pay a lot for it, but I probably got this like pre-eBay. I probably got this in the mid nineties or something like that at a yard sale for a dollar or two, but check out how cool it is. Let me take it out. Look at this thing. So it's a purse and you put this over your shoulder <laughs> and it's a radio. What? A swinger, come on. And there's a little secret compartment here. Let me open it up, hold on. There it is. You can put something secret in there and then you screw that back on. Anyway, <laughs> this is super, super cool. I know what I forgot to show you are two cool old record covers here. This is a great um, collectible album that I have, but I love this album art right here. Sounds in space. It's kind of fun, right? And I guess that is pretty much it. These CDs are my husband's. Oh, here's three things that are mine. Aren't those great? I love these old things, especially this one. I think I have another one of these too. I think I have a pair of them from Pan in Japan. Super cool. Anyways, that is it. Well, I hope you like looking at some of my fun stuff. I love collecting fun things. It really makes me smile down here. The rest of our house is very ordinary, just normal stuff. And, uh, you know, yeah, like a normal house, except for down here. This is just a little bit cray cray, right? That's it. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my finished, half of my finished basement. That's all my, my husband's junk over there, but this is mine. All right, thanks for coming, everybody. I will catch you soon. Cheers.